Thank you, everybody. This is Steve Kane. I'm from Fluidine Corporation, and I'm going to be walking you through our virtual poster detection of human and viral full length RNA using a nanoscale microfluidic platform. So, to begin with, I have just a brief outline of what I'll be covering uh, introduction, a methods and materials section to describe the analytical study that I'll be showing. I have a few different views on the workflow for our RNA seq library construction method. And then I'll cover the results of our analytical validation study, which assess the technical reproducibility of the platform against different operators, and also a comparison of gene level detection of libraries produced with the Advanta RNA Seq system, as well as another commercially available um, RNA Seq methodology. And then I'll have some brief conclusions at the end. So, to begin with, uh, the Advanta RNA Seq NGS Library Prep Kit is a consumable kit that operates on a microfluidic platform uh, called the Juno instrument. So, using the, the consumables and the Juno instrument together, you're able to produce 48 independent RNA Seq libraries from 48 RNA samples using a one click script on the instrument. This is a poly A capture methodology. So for human RNA, you're looking at the mRNA population, but because the coronavirus genome is also an RNA that's polyadenylated, you're able to look at both viral and human host sequences in the same RNA sequencing experiment. Together with the instrumentation and the consumables, uh, we've also developed a unique integrated fluidic circuit or IFC called the 48 Atlas. Uh, I'll show you on the workflow diagram how this is utilized together with the Juno to produce uh, random prime stranded RNA-seq libraries that, again, are polyadenylated uh, using an in input of as low as 10 nanograms total RNA. And this is compatible with any polyadenylated RNA, be it from eukaryotic organism, organisms or viral species. The entire workflow can be completed in about 12 and a half hours with two hours of hands-on time. So in terms of materials and methods, uh, in the validation study, we looked at just over 900 different total RNA samples. These are from the uni universal human reference RNA or human adult brain RNA. In order to look at the reproducibility of the system, uh, we looked at the production of libraries from three different independent operators running the workflow using three different lots of our integrated micro, uh, microfluidic chip through different reagent lots and six different Juno instruments. The libraries that are produced are compatible with the Illumina platform, and so in this study, we use both the MySeq and the NextSeq system. So this diagram shows you the overall workflow and how the instrument, the IFC, and the reagents um, are integrated. So in step number one, the, the initial step by the operator would be to load the, the um, total RNA onto the IFC. This is typically done at the end of, of day one of the protocol. It takes about 60 minutes to load the IFC and then prepare it for loading onto the Juno instrument in step number two. The Juno then um, runs for about nine hours to complete the automation script. Most people do that in an overnight run and then in step three, collect the libraries the beginning of day two. After the libraries are collected then off the IFC, there's a cleanup procedure um, the adapter PCR is run to amplify the library, QC, and normalization. And then the final output then is 48 RNA-seq libraries that are ready for sequencing. So you can see in the red circle, just that's just indicating where the IFC is loaded on the Juno instrument uh, prior to the overnight run. Looking at a bit more detail then on the steps that are automated uh, within the IFC or the, the um, microfluidic circuit, if you will. Uh, the total RNA is loaded again um, at the first step. The poly A fraction is, is collected using an oligo DT column that's on the IFC. In step number two, the RNA is fragmented. It's then reverse transcribed and template switched to add the sequences necessary for the Illumina adapter formation. Sample barcode PCR then amplifies the library. And as I showed on the prior slide, the libraries are then harvested, QC'd, um, amplified and prepared for sequencing. So noting the volumes indicated for each step, you'll see that this, this truly is a nanoscale volume, uh, nanoliter volumes taking place in each reaction. So what we've done here is miniaturized many of the steps used in RNA-seq library production. 
This allows us to significantly reduce the cost of reagents required uh, to run this workflow. And then the last workflow slide is just a comparison between uh, the Advanta RNA-Seq system shown on the left and another commercially available system from Illumina called the TrueSeq True Stranded mRNA Library Prep Kit. So this is a manual workflow. Uh, draw your attention to the, the rectangle on the left, which shows the steps that are automated on the ISC. So these are fully automated and complete walkaway automation. So the overall time to complete the workflows are similar, but where the difference is is the hands-on time. So for the Advanta RNA-Seq system, it's about two hours. Uh, in contrast, the TrueSeq workflow requires six hours and 45 minutes of hands-on time. This data figure is a, an overall summary of the sequencing performance results and mapping statistics that were generated in the validation testing. So we use two different inputs of total RNA, either 10 nanograms or 100 nanograms of the universal human reference RNA or the adult human brain RNA. And I will draw your attention to the rightmost column, which, which averages all of these results. So you can see that the percentage of reads mapped to the genome is quite good, 84% on average. Percentage of reads mapped to the transcriptome, about 73%. Uh, this is a poly-A capture methodology once again, so we're able to exclude ribosomal RNA sequences, and so they're quite low on the order of 5.4% overall average down to as low as 3%. We also looked at the correlation between results using either 10 or 100 nanograms in the next to the last row, and you can see that those, those correlation coefficients are quite high, 0 0.981. So that would indicate that you get comparable results over that dynamic range of inputs between 10 and 100 nanograms. And then lastly, this is a stranded protocol producing stranded RNA-seq libraries, and we're getting correct strandedness that approaches 100%, uh, 98.3%. This next figure shows the, uh, the operator variability, so we wanted to look at the concordance of results between two different operators. So in this experiment, either 10 or 100 nanograms of each RNA type were run. And they, we looked at the uh, gene level Pearson's correlations between these two results. And you can see there's a very high level of concordance between each operator, indicating good reproducibility um, based on two different operators running the process. In this figure, we looked at the, the level of gene detection between the Advanta RNA-Seq system shown in red and the TrueSeq true systems shown in gray uh, at two different inputs, again, either 10 or 100 nanograms. And we're essentially seeing comparable level of detection for genes with either workflow. Not shown in the poster is the similar experiment where we looked at the number of detected transcripts. Those were also very similar with each workflow. So you are getting comparable sequencing performance results, but with the Advanta RNA-Seq system, you're able to obtain those results with significantly lower uh, hands-on time and reduce sequence, uh, reduce cost per sample for reagents based on the use of microfluidics. This slide um, shows you the overall um, portfolio of applications that can be run on the Juno system. So on the left, in terms of library preparation, in addition to the Advanta RNA-Seq NGS library prep kit that I've discussed, we also have a number of standard panels for targeted sequencing and also the D3 assay design portal allows people to make um, custom panels for targeted sequencing. All of those libraries have um, adapter sequences that are compatible with the Illumina sequencing platforms. On the right side of the figure shows that the Juno can be utilized together with another instrument from Fluidime called the Biomark HD. And this would be for PCR-based applications such as gene expression or genotyping. And then we also have a similar custom design capability uh, for both gene expression and genotyping panels that are designed by customers. So in, in conclusion then, with respect to the RNA-seq results that I've shown, uh, using the Advanta RNA-seq NGS library prep kit, you can obtain excellent genome mapping rates, transcript detection, a uh, high level of, of correct strandedness with low percentage of reads going to ribosomal RNA sequences. The technical replicates are, are quite good, so we showed results with greater than 98% concordance. 
the platform study showed performance that was as good or better than the TrueSeq kit for, for gene level detection across the dynamic range of, of 10 to 100 nanograms input and across a large range of detection for different transcripts at different expression levels. The Advanced RNA-Seq NGS Library Prep Kit provides an automated solution. So you are, you're minimizing the use of manual pipetting steps with a consequent reduction in hands-on time and truly increased, increased um, walk-away automation. In addition to the results that I've shown uh, for human reference RNAs, we are in the process of doing studies related to COVID-19 research to look for the ability to detect viral sequences that are polyadenylated against a background of host mRNA in the same sequencing run. So be sure to go to our virtual booth and download the actual poster. Uh, this is at fluidime.com. And I will thank you very much for your time.